much is the new Mandeville toll going to cost and who will run the new leg of the highway? I'm Khalila Reynolds, financial journalist and educator based in Jamaica. So the May to Mandeville leg of Highway 2000 has been open since September and it's been totally free to travel on so far. Prime Minister Andrew Holness said it will stay free until December 31. But if you're like me, who travels between Mandeville and Kingston every week on that highway, then you can't wait to hear what they're going to charge. So what's the holdup? Why aren't the prices out yet? Well, the thing is, the government hasn't decided who's operating the highway yet. Trans-Jamaican Highway, which is already responsible for operating and maintaining the east-to-west toll roads of Highway 2000, is of course the most likely candidate, but they're still in negotiations. So we won't know the cost of the toll until the negotiation is over and all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. But Managing Director of TJH Ivan Anderson was on Taking Stock last year, and he told us the fare would be less than 500 Jamaican dollars. We anticipate that the toll rates per kilometer along the highway are pretty consistent. Um, so if you, if you take an existing roadway, let's say from, from Spanish Town to Kingston, and use the, the rate per kilometer, that should give you an idea as to the kind of tolls that we'll expect. If you take... Spanish Town, for example. Um, so Spanish Town is about two hundred dollars, maybe two hundred twenty, and Spanish Town is about thirteen kilometers. So I'm, I'm trying to give you an indication as to what our toll rates are per kilometer, not to predict what the toll will be. Um, two twenty divided by thirteen kilometers, sixteen ninety <laughs> per kilometer. Time, well, I know, times twenty eight. So we're looking at about four hundred and seventy four dollars. No, it won't, be, it won't be that much. It won't be that much. We don't expect it to be that much. We expect that the toll rate will be affordable um, and it will be such that we encourage people to utilize the road. Mm, but inflation, though, the cost of goods and services in May last year when we did that interview is not the same now. And TJH has raised the toll on its existing highway since then. So that rate per kilometer that he was talking about is likely to be higher now, too. It was a good first half of the year for TJH. There was record traffic at the toll plaza and the company made 36 million US dollars in the first six months. Net profits also rose to 11 million US as investors were also looking out for how the new leg will affect profits and our dividend payments. TJH is one of the best dividend paying companies in Jamaica after all. And that's the bottom line. Take our Investing for Beginners course to learn how to start investing. The link is in the description. Let's get this money. Let's get this money. <laughs>